December 1983, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the Vice Chancellor of this university for having given me this opportunity to speak a few words to the young men and women who are gathered here today. I am glad to know that this university has made considerable progress during the last few years. The central government has given liberal financial assistance which has helped the university authorities in developing its various departments. I have no doubt that this university will grow from strength to strength in the years to come. I wish to congratulate my young friends who have received their degrees and diplomas today. It is no doubt true that this will be a turning point in your life. It is also true that every one of you will be anxious to get a suitable job which is essential for finding a means to live. I would like to point out in this connection that this government is very keen to see that adequate employment opportunities are created in our country to give suitable jobs to our educated young men and women. You will be happy to know that the fourth five-year plan, for instance, envisages altogether about 20 million jobs. It cannot be said that everyone who has acquired a degree or diploma will find employment immediately, but most of you in due course will be able to find yourselves employed in one's capacity or another. There is of course equality of opportunity for everyone and to a great extent your future is in your own hands. Whatever may be your position in future life, each one of you should first of all think of yourselves as citizens of this country. This confers on you certain rights which are guaranteed by the constitution, but it also subjects you to certain responsibilities which you should be able to understand clearly. In a democracy, the citizens enjoy a certain amount of freedom, but this is always subject to social discipline. A good citizen is one who obeys the law whether there is a policeman around or not and who takes delight in performing his civic duties. The responsibility of our young men at the present time is no doubt great. In my view, every stage in the life of a man is important in itself. I would like to call upon everyone to understand the dignity of work. It is important that there should be great satisfaction in doing one's own work to the best of his ability. Whatever the duties, we should apply ourselves with sincerity and devotion. It is better that we do our own job well before we think of criticizing anybody else. We should always bear in mind that loyalty to the country comes ahead of all other loyalties. It is essential to remember that the entire country is one and anyone who thinks in a different way is not our true friend. I would like to appeal to young men and women to prepare themselves in a disciplined and determined manner of the responsibilities of tomorrow. It should be remembered in this connection that a democratic country can be sustained not by the greatness of a few but by the cooperative efforts of the many. There is no doubt that the future of the country is in your hands. It is necessary therefore that you should be well equipped as individuals and citizens. The world is at the present moment passing through very difficult times. In fact, it would not be wrong to say that the people are now facing difficult problems. Letter dated 25th October 1982 
from the sales manager Mrs. Raman and Company, New Delhi, to the manager Mrs. Thomas and Company, Bombay. Dear Sir, in reply to your letter of the 26th instant, we wish to inform you as follows. We have thoroughly considered the terms and conditions offered by you in your letter and we accept them. We are appointing you as our sole agent in Bombay for a period of one year from this date and agree to pay you commission on all orders received by us directly or indirectly from the buyers from Bombay. As regards orders from foreign countries received through you, we agree to pay commission to you in accordance with the terms to be decided later. We have already business connection in several parts of the world. It is not therefore possible for us to give you the sole representation in this regard. We also agree to give you the customer's discount of 5% on all ordinary sales. Further, we are agreeable to a 2 and a half percent commission on account sales. For this purpose, you have to render us account of all sales made for us up to and including the 25th of each month and send us the amount of such sales less commission on the first of the next month. We await your confirmation in this regard. Thanking you, yours faithfully.